What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be playing a game with pretty much the... Like I know he's Pink Diamond and everything but over... Or sorry, he's Galaxy Opal and everything but overall it's Paul George. So, Paul George, Indiana Pacers power forward. I'm almost certain he never ever played power forward for the Indiana Pacers. Although he 100% did play at the 2. So... The reason why he's a power forward is what I explained in a video yesterday. And pretty much why he's a power forward is because, as you guys can see, he's got 95 defensive overall. And that might be a little bit confusing because he's got like clamps, he's got all the defensive badges. When you look at his perimeter defense, it's 95. Decent interior defense, also has an unbelievable steal and almost perfect lateral quickness. Problem is, is that he has got a block rating of 50. And if he was a small forward, they that block rating wouldn't make any difference whatsoever however because he's a power forward that block rating um brings him down well probably is what brings him down the overall there's also another stat somewhere here that's really low and it's a post hook i think as well post hook of 60 yet yeah. those two stats are what brings him down to 98 like he already has minimum intangibles like it's a given with new cards unless they're david thompson which is just a nerfed version of a higher card we've already gotten it's a given that we're getting a maximum of like 40 intangibles on a card and um, sometimes well most of the time even lower almost all the time you are getting 25 intangibles on a card but 40 is kind of the highest we're getting for high overall players like looking through um this card right here he's got a little bit higher intangibles but again they changed the position and gave him lower shot iq to lower the overall but uh yeah so honestly while um, for some people, the overall snobs, they'd rather see Galaxy Opals. For guys that are watching this channel and for guys that are kind of educated on how overall works and how it, this, the number at the end doesn't really mean anything, this card is basically a Galaxy Opal. This card, well, most cards are basically, basically Galaxy Opal. This card is 2K doing whatever they can to not make it a Galaxy Opal. But anyway, 29 All of Fame badges, volume shooter, catch and shoot, um, range extender, quick draw, green machine. He's got quick first step. Clamps, Interceptor, Off-Ball Pest, Pogo, Tireless Defender, Fancy Footwork, he's got Intimidator as well, Defensive Leader, he's got a lot of really good badges. Stats-wise, great driving layup, good post fadeaway, great mid-range, great three ball, he's got a, a, not even just a great driving dunk, he's got literally a perfect driving dunk, so it cannot get any higher, obviously, because it's 99. He's got 86 ball handle, he's got 97 steel, 95 perimeter defense, 85 interior defense, um speed speed on acceleration is really good and lower quickness is really good so what i'm expecting is opal pg to be a small forward slash two guard so we can play down one and be arguably the best two guard in the game to be completely honest like if you're looking at players that aren't in my team i've actually taken vince carter out of my team because i'm pretty sure when it's all said and done i'm gonna have paul george in instead of him one player that i'm not 100 sure how i feel about yet is the rudy uh gay card um so pretty much with him whereas he's power forward i am going to give him a go and see how he is but i feel i doubt he's gonna be better in quiet Leonard, to be honest and dwight howard i still don't know how i feel about this card but look if he's playing badly i can just put him bam in a bio and he can do the job and i like using small centers yet because we haven't for my well so far anyway i think the big centers are not good enough kind of shooters or fast enough to really fit my style of play but anyway, yeah, that is the team. This is the team we are going to be running right now. Let's go to the hot zones and release for Paul George. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Paul George has got hot zones literally everywhere on the floor. His release, I'm telling you, it is. Whatever about that one being late, this is money. Like, it's not too fast, not too slow. This is the Paul George of old. Remember, it was a 2K17 where Paul George had legit the best release in the game. Last year, it was, it was up there, but base 11 was a thing last year, so we can't really forget that. But right now, Paul George is... I don't know if I'm going to quite say he's the best release in the game because I do think there are better. I think Buddy Heal's release is better. I think Amethyst Jason Tatum's release is better. Um, a few others. I'm trying to think off the top of my head who I really like. Most people hate Billups' release, but because I used Hedo so much, I have that release down to a T. So I actually think Billups is a really good release. But um, yeah, so overall, Paul George is going to be a knockdown shooter. Going to the basket, he's going to be exceptional as well. Obviously, he's going to be a really good dunker with a 99 dunk rating. He's got half and quick first step. He's six foot nine, so he's got decent height. And can just, he's just going to be able to do everything. 
Post fadeaway is decent enough. I'm not going to go to it much, but if you if I am struggling and need to go to it, I can. But uh, overall, whether I want to use him as my main man, which I'm probably going to do in this game, or whether I want to use him as just kind of a small forward, um, kind of 3 and D guy, which I'm going to use him from now on. He's going to be fantastic. Honestly, he's probably just going to be a better version of that Kawhi Leonard card. And honestly, I prefer much prefer that Kawhi Leonard card to using Vince Carter. So basically, uh, Paul George for now anyway has a spot in my best team. So anyway, now it's just green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against LeBron James, Jordan, Tracy McGrady. So that's this is going to be as tough a matchup as possible. He's coming up against T Mac. So. Okay, that's fine. I couldn't. That's fine. As long as it says an error occurred and the game just doesn't play, I'm fine with that. Because the people that find ways to draw pack and force a loss, that's annoying. I'm not too fussed by that. We're just going to find another matchup here. Okay, so we're playing against a slightly but not much easier matchup here. Yanis might be a more difficult matchup, to be honest, to score points on than T Mac because he's got Hall of Fame clamps and he's longer. But. Like, as a team, this is as good. Like, this is as good. This is going to be as difficult to come up against. So, especially this guy's Royce, who obviously is grinding the game. So, look, it is what it is. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go. Let's just start it off getting into PG's hands. See what he wants by defense. And Paul George hits the easy, easy fadeaway to start the game. And you know what? We got to play our style of play. Look, the team I've the team I built to get I've built. If I'm not full court press and I let people play a half court offense, we're gonna struggle. He's going screen to screener. Wait for the pass to Vince Carter here. How did we miss that? We literally knew exactly what was happening and was waiting for it. Like, oh, they just left Dwight completely. Not gonna lie, the way this guy's playing screens is very annoying. Ah, it's a bad release, but Paul George hits it anyway because he was wide open. Okay, can he just finish over Westbrook? Yes, he can. Good job there by PG. So, while Paul George is not shooting the best percentage right now, he's still absolutely destroying the other team. And we finally green a jumper with him. Let's go. All right, let's get a stop right here. Why does he just give the ball to Vince? Like, Vince is open. Or AD. Like, there is literally two bosses that he can give right there. He can give two wide, wide open passes right there, and he's gone. All right, so we're going to go and play another game. Okay, so we're playing against Wade. Pretty good team right here. He's going to be matching up to Kevin Durant, who is probably up there with Paul George in the best small forward slash power forwards in the game. Like I'd say the conversation is between which of those two. Well, it's probably between those two for that specific position, maybe Kawhi. But uh, yeah, this is, going, this is not going to be easy right here. Let's push to PG. On the move, bounce back, and hit it, and Giannis can't get the board. We missed that one completely. They go and hit the moving shot with Larry. Still early days. Hey, not again. I'll be worried if we're down in the fourth. Never worried if you're down early. Never be worried if you're down early in the game. So you can always, always fight back. It's 2K. That's open, and that's green. There we go. We take the lead. That's a risky pass, and Dwight's at the speed to get back there. He's got the speed. That's not a good shot by Kevin Durant. I was like, if it goes in, it goes in, but it's still not a good shot. Oh, it's wide open. And it's another green light from Paul George on the break. Let's go. He throws it into our hands. Paul George trailing the play. Connects onto that screen. Hits Dwight Howard inside for the dunk. There we go. They've come up, come up high on that screen a couple of times. And to be fair, after the first one in the first game, we've done a good job of stopping that. That's all right. We can switch that. We're back. We're there. Oh. Ah, oh, we were late on that. I thought we were going to get back there in time. Um, You know what? That was probably should have been a shot. Not the biggest deal in the world. Okay, pull up. Green. Big, big shot right there from Paul George. So PG has now got three three-pointers here to start the game. We have an 11-4 lead. Now I want to see where his passes are going to go. I don't mind the screen coming. Because we've got Giannis helping in right now. All right, they hit us with that one more time. Just gonna go out of the press because, while normally I'm, it's very rare I get beaten badly by someone around the pick and rolls in the backcourt. Style of breaking the press, the Chris move style. Um, this guy's done it twice in a row now, so I need to 
make sure that we win the game, obviously. So, and look, if it's not working, it's not working. The press is very, very easy to break. So there's a reason why you very rarely see me running the press when I'm playing against a guy who I feel is a really, really good player. Because I think good, most good players can break presses. They'll find out a way to break it. Okay, let's get it. We're there, we got him. He hasn't broke the press, perfect. Dive. Right in the hands of PG. Let's attack. Let's burn. He's in the post. Oh, wow. I wait. Okay, I went in. Let's say I was going for the fadeaway there. But Paul George has got 14 in the team, 16 points. Let's get through that. There you go. I'm fine with him taking the ball. They're not doing anything that I'm not 100% fine with. Like. I'm 100% fine with every every move they're making, every pass they're making. So after we got over that screen a couple of times, I'm going with it. Like we're going to concede baskets. It's going to happen. It's 2K. And this guy's not a bad player. Do I think he's too, like there are players that I think are too good for me to run a press against. I don't believe he's that good. But um, without question, this guy's a skilled player and he's going to score. Like, he's going to score and he's going to score often against me. Like He's not... He's pulling me away, just pulling me back. So I haven't been able to get any of those steals. And just like that, he's gotten into really good position here. And has gotten a okay shot with Larry. I know he missed it, but that's an all right shot. As I always say, sometimes bad shots go in and sometimes good shots miss. And that was just a good shot that missed. So this guy is a pretty skilled player. So I can't expect to get a stop in every play. And I also can't um, expect to have this guy out of the game in the first quarter. Because... Even though I am up by 11 points, I'm telling you, this is not this is not a game where I'm going to win by 50. Or it shouldn't. It likely is not a game. Okay, we are way... We're not protecting the basket enough with uh, Dwight here. Like we now, we're not looking for that steal. We're not looking for these steals. We're just looking to make him play fast. Right, the press is not about getting steals. Especially, well, the way I play the press is not about getting steals. The way I play the press is turning this into my style of game. Because when this becomes a helter skelter, hectic game about hectic game of 2K, where two guys are just running up and down with the team that I have assembled, I believe that's where I completely I'll excel and beat almost every player at that specific style. But if this becomes a slowdown game, um, anything can happen, which is why I play the slowdown game whenever I'm playing with. That's not a good shot, is it? No, oh, went in. Um. Whenever I'm playing with budget squads against really good squads, I tend to play the slowdown game because um, the slower the game is, the closer it's going to be and anything can happen. Whereas if it becomes an open game, then it becomes a pure battle of skill and as much as anything, it becomes a battle of the cards you have and straight up, I have the better cards. Oh well, but he'll give him way too much space right there and we get the three with T-Mac. Let's go. We're getting better at three-point hunting. We are getting better at three-point hunting. Not gonna lie. And if you don't know what three-point hunting is, it's it's in the name. It's doing whatever you can just to get open for threes. Okay, let's go. PG draws two of them right into Dwight Howard, who makes the layup. Let's hit him. Let's see if we can connect off this one, which we can. And it's a wide open shot from PG. Who greens it? Big shot right there. Wait for him. Wait for him. We're fine. Connected. We got some space. And Paul George greens a three. Good shot there by him. Pull up. Green. There we go. A couple of not good plays right there. And we have made this 17 points again. Hey, it's a minute to go. Let's just get out of the press. There's no, we've won the game. There's no chance of them coming back. It's fine. Let's let him take on Dwight one-on-one. -on -one. one of the hardest people in the game to take on one-on-one. -on -one, so I'll live with it. And just like that, we give him a wide open shot with Dwayne Wade. Like, I haven't played particularly well here. I haven't been bad. Like, no way. Like, if I, me playing bad, we'll probably lose to this guy. But I haven't been particularly good. Oh, that's dumb. That's not a good shot. That is not a good shot right there. All right, let's. We're probably going to get one more shot here. And we have got 30 with Paul George. So there's no real milestone to go for. But again, like. Against a team like this guy is running with, Paul George has done all you could ask for him. Good pass, and it's green there from Derek Rose. He's got like 32 and 4, and 
in a 17 point win against a very good team um playing against kevin durant as well so being guarded by probably the best player in this position in the game okay that's open for three again he knocks it down this guy's 33 for him so in the end paul george 11 of 19 in the field a little bit slower in the second half four of eight four of ten and four of eight from three however nine of 14 from three is really good like first half seven of nine five of six from the field was really really good and yeah overall a fantastic game there for paul george so anyway that's the video paul george is unreal lads he is absolutely unreal i'm telling you paul george is up there with Kawhi and kevin durant for the best guys to play at the small forward position and i'm not gonna lie i he's above Giannis for the best power forward he's above Giannis. again i don't know how rudy rudy gay is uh but paul george without not without question but paul george in my opinion is better than Giannis. paul george is the best power forward in my team maybe a bold statement may not be but i'm gonna say it right now paul george is the best power forward in my team in my opinion but anyway yeah that is the video paul george obviously a really really good card thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe